One of da Vinci's main inhibitions was the lack of materials he needed to transform his concepts into reality. Jacques Fresco is also a self-taught scientist, architect, and inventor. For his entire life, he has been deeply committed to investigation, insight, and innovation. A prolific creator and builder, Jacques has been redesigning our entire culture for most of his life. While da Vinci needed advanced materials, Fresco has lacked access to the social and political resources needed to realize his most far-reaching ideas. My guest is an extraordinary Miamian, Dr. Jacques Fresco. What, what does it say in your driver's license? <laughs> what is the occupation? Industrial designer. Jacques, you... Uh, Social engineer. Does it bug you that uh, people, when they talk about Jacques Fresco in Miami, say that he's someone who's too far ahead of his time? His thinking is, <laughs> we're not ready for advanced kind of thinking. No, of I that mean, type. Does it bug I, you? I imagine every creative person in every field encounters that sort of problem. No, it doesn't. I can't afford it. There's too many things that are important. People always ask, how much will it cost to put up these new cities? Do we have the resources to do it? That's the question, not how much does it cost. That's the old question, doing the monetary system. Money is an invention of convenience for purchasing goods and services in a scarcity environment. If there's a scarcity, say, of water, it is prized, and its price is high. If we find an abundance, suddenly the earth opens up, an abundant supply of fresh water fills every ravine, then nobody cares. There's only a, a policeman in front of something that people have need for and don't have access to. So you put a guard there. I can imagine an abundance economy where robots do most of the work, where our food, our clothing, our shelter are created by machines, and I think it's very realistic for us to eliminate, completely eliminate absolute poverty worldwide, not just in the United States, by the year 2035. Nobody needs to starve ever again. That could be an enormous milestone that is achievable because of technology. When we computerize everything and start producing things and make things available, it'll be too cheap to monitor. With the most capable computers, we can arrive at more appropriate decisions on a global scale. I have no doubt that machines will eventually be assigned more and more decision making. For example, years ago, a pilot would look out of a plane and says, I think I'm about a mile high. But today they have Doppler radar and they know exactly how high they are. So we don't want human guesswork anymore when a machine can do it. So I see the future as using very sophisticated computers that make decisions. Now, how do computers make decisions? They have their tentacles out into transportation, agriculture, so they can tell you when the soil is depleted, when it has less water, because it has sensors built into the soil. The computer will be connected to weather departments, earthquake zones, everything, so I feel that eventually government will become computerized.